Hey Facebook. Hey guys. Good morning to you. Where am I? Where am I? Oh my god, there I am. There I am. Hey guys, good morning. Can I see myself? Oh, let me just go back. I think I'm too high. Um, let me see what I look like on camera. My face looks oily, but then I'm always oily. I think oily is good. Uh, I'm an oily girl. <laughs> I think when well, your face is oily, keeps you younger. So good morning, everybody. Is it still morning or is it afternoon? It's afternoon. Wow, it's afternoon. Good afternoon, Facebook. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to step back and I am going to try to do this live real quickly. A couple of things. I was laughing at my, my title because I've just come from the osteopath and... Um, my, my title for, for today is Some of Us Are Built for Breaking. And um, um, I've just had my back literally broken. Cook, 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 cook. And I'm in, I'm in pain. I was like, my son was there and he was like really upset. He's like, mommy, he's trying to, he's trying to literally hurt you. He's trying to he literally hurt you. And I was like, no, he's not trying to hurt me. He's, um, he's, um, he's trying to help me. But I, I, there's a, there's a very popular quote by Douglas MacArthur, and um, part of it is talking about you know rules are meant to be broken, take a risk, and I've actually used it and moved away from from it to say that you know some of us are made to break, some of us are made to break as humans, some of us are made to break. And by that, I mean that some of us are made to endure challenges. There are some of us whose DNA um, is, is just different. Some of us DNA is just different. Some of us are built from that stuff, that stock. That means that we are, we are resilient. We're more resilient than others. And the only way, so the first thing is, is understanding that some of us are built for breaking. And when you understand that some of us are built for breaking, it then helps us to grasp why some of us have more challenges than others. That's my analogy anyway. I believe that some of us have more challenges than others because we are built to break. And when you are built to break, you are going to be given, in my view, some harder challenges than others because you're designed in a way that you can handle them. You can navigate them. You can endure. You are resilient enough. And when those challenges come, for those of us who are made to break, we are going to have to stop and think that rather than being worried and frustrated and, 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 and annoyed and ask why me, is to recognize that in that breaking, you are being built. That because you are made to break, you are built for breaking. In that breaking, you are being built to a space and a another level because greatness is coming up on you. And I believe that because greatness is coming up on you. Hi, Christine, how are you doing? Because greatness is coming upon you, the 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 the, the level of challenges that you're faced with are there because you are built to break. And it's in the breaking that you get built. And for some of us who don't realize that the reason we have so many challenges after challenges is because we have that DNA of breakability to be built. And somebody I was talking to recently said, oh my God, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. It's like from one thing to another to another, that's life. That is life. It's in the breaking that you are built. Yes, Christine. And I just came from the chiropractor, the osteopath with my back. And he was cracking my bones, cracking my bones, chick, 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 and I could hear the breaking. And I was like, oh my God. But whilst he was breaking, or it sounds like breaking, he was building back my back, my back, my bones, my spine, all of that stuff. He was like, look, I have to do crunk, 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 crunk in order to build back and, and heal what you have damaged. And I was like, oh, I get it, I get it. Some of us are built for breaking. And so we need to recognize that the more challenges you have in my view as a Christian is because one, God see that you can handle it. Two, they are building your resiliency, they're building those muscles, they're building your faith, and they're building you to go to where you are destined to be. I wanna say that again, in the breaking, and the challenges that you're having, stop seeing them as, as complaint 
ticking off. I'm complaining. This is happening to me. Why me? See them as you being built. You're breaking to be built. I love coconut drops. I love coconut as a whole. And every time you break a coconut, you crack it open, you drink the water, but you are breaking it to build something more beautiful than the coconut. You are breaking that coconut to build something more beautiful. You're going to build gizada if you're from Jamaica, you understand that. You're going to build greater cake. You're going to build coconut drops. You're going to make coconut oil. You are breaking that coconut to build something amazing out of it. And some of us are in that stage in our lives right now that we are being built because to who much is given, much is required. And when you understand that, the reason that you have so much breaking in your life and breaking here could be challenges, breaking here could be disappointment, breaking here could be, um, you know, stones in the way, valleys and mountains, breaking could be whatever you're going through. So please exchange the word. Whatever your breaking is, it's because there is so much more that's required of you. There's so much more that's waiting for you. So I'm here this morning to say to somebody, in the same way the osteopath kept cracking my bones today, ching, 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 my son was upset. He's like, mommy, he's hurting you. He was breaking me to build me. And there are some of us there are some of us who need to be broken and there are some of us who will not be built until we allow ourselves to be broken. We need to allow ourselves to be broken. So that's my simple message today. It's nothing political. It's nothing, anything other than I just wanted to drop that into your soul. I wanted to drop that into your spirit. I wanted to encourage somebody. I wanted to remind somebody that there are some of us who are running away from our breaking and between the you know between that sprint of being broken you in in that sprint between being broken right here you're building your breakthrough your your success your reward lies on the other end where you'll be built but until you allow yourself to be broken, until you allow yourself to be vulnerable, until you allow yourself to take a risk, until you allow yourself to walk away from something that's not serving you, until you allow yourself to step out into boldness and decide that I'm going to take a risk on this business, this idea, this book, going back to school, whatever it is, I don't know what your breaking is or needs to be. That thing that needs to happen in your life, that you're sometimes the one standing in your way, that breaking point is what's gonna bring you to being built. It's gonna give you that success you need, that peace you need, that joy you need, that comfort you need. Now, now check this, between the breaking and the building, it's gonna be uncomfortable. Sometimes it's very uncomfortable. You're gonna have to take some risk. You're gonna have to invest in yourself. You're going to have to go in silence. You're going to have to meditate. You're going to have to cry. You're going to have to be rejected. You're going to be told no. There's so many things that happen in this point. But I'm here to tell you as a living testimony that between the breaking and all the things that you have to endure in the space right here, that sprint, sometimes it's not even a sprint, it's a marathon. No. You learn resiliency. You learn to be tenacious. You develop courage under fire. You just de develop hope. You learn to have faith. You learn who you are. You meet some amazing people on the journey. You become compassionate. You become gracious to self. You accept your faults. You decide that I can't do it by myself. I'm not an island. You walk away from some crap in your life. There are so many things that happen on that journey. You learn to forgive. You learn to forgive yourself. You learn to be gracious to yourself. You release the baggage, the pain. There's so much that happens in this space of learning to be broken, to be built. But let me say one more thing that I want to say to you and I'm going to go now. I posted this yesterday and I'm going to go back to it because I think it is so important because so many of us miss, miss it. We miss it. When you know where your confidence comes from, when you are absolutely convicted, you are persuaded where your confidence comes from, your strength comes from, it will determine when your confidence runs out. So let me go back and put it into context. When you are being broken, 
when you know where you can anchor, when you know where your support system is, when you know who you are, that determination will never run out. Will never run out. So before you step out into the brokenness, do an audit to ask yourself, when I'm going through the, the space of brokenness, who is going to be there? Where is my support system? Where is my source? Who am I going to lean on? Because those things are fundamentally important. Find your source. I think most of the times I do my life, I'm always talking about the source. Anchor yourself in a source. Because when you're, when you're breaking a coconut, you have to find a strong surface to break it on. When you're breaking a tree, and I grew up in the Caribbean, where we chop down trees all the time for whatever reason and whatever, and we look at where it's going to land. It's so important to look at where you're going to land, where your grounding is, where your steps are. So remember your support system, be that a coach, a mentor, a family member, a partner, a sister, friend, whoever your accountability partners are, make sure you are grounded in somebody firmly. I am grounded in my faith in God. Let me tell you something. There have been so many people that have failed me in my breaking points in my life. I've been failed, let down, deceived so many times, lied on, uh, got arrested, um, tried. I, have I ever told you guys this? I've never shared this on Facebook. Let me share this for the first time in my existence. I've never shared this. Last week, I was going through some court documents and I saw and I called a good friend of mine. And I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I did not even realize this happened to me because sometimes in your breaking, hallelujah, the, the mind protects you, protects you. Sometimes when you've been broken, and need some water, your mind protects you. And I've never shared this publicly before. I did not realize that I was arrested and bailed. Not making it up. My mind must have protected me because I was going through the court files and I was looking, 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 looking. And I was like, oh my God. My son was there. I was like, mommy, you were... I, I was so embarrassed. You were arrested and bailed. And I was like, what? Then when I looked at the document... I saw my, my lawyer's name, one of my lawyers. I've had many lawyers on this journey. And I saw my lawyer, who's, who's my good friend now. And well, most of my, I have two lawyers. Well, my, three of my lawyers are my great friend. Two are barristers and one's a lawyer. So all of my legal team and I are still friends till today. And I, I saw her name and I was like, oh my God, was that being arrested? So we had a situation and I was accused, which is for something I didn't do by, I'm not going to say who, but you guys know who. And I would imagine, and I was arrested and I was bailed. And I did not realize this until last week. And I remember, I've never told you guys this. Now, hear what was crazy. And, and I probably should have realized it, but there was so much happening. There was so much breaking happening in my life that I did not stop to realize. It was so much stuff happening because I found myself in family court. So I'm dealing with family matters. And then I found myself in criminal court. I've never shared this on Facebook. I don't even know where I'm going with this. I don't know why I'm talking about this. I never, ever shared this. And I was in criminal court with petty thieves. I remember, and this is probably the most important Facebook Live I've ever done. And I wasn't planning to go there. So tag a friend, share this. I remember being in the Financial Times. The... I think it was the August or the March. I can't remember now because my brain, I find that some things my brain just don't recall because it's protecting me. But I was in the Financial Times and the same period that you guys saw me in the Financial Times, in Croydon Magistrate Court, Criminal Court, I was in the docks with petty criminals being tried for harassment something I didn't do and found guilty was shocking. And I appealed the same day and won the appeal a few weeks later because I hadn't done it. And 
when I say I have been broken, guys, I have been broken. There are some stories I want to share with you guys. Some things legally I can't share yet because everything is not done. Some things I'm waiting, I'm not ready yet. But I found myself with petty criminals. People who are committing larceny and breaking doors and breaking people's houses and stealing and all that stuff. I found myself in that space. And I've never shared this publicly. And last week I realized that sometimes when you are being broken to be built, your mind shields you. Your mind protects you. Your mind looks after you. I was arrested and I was charged for something I didn't do. And I was in criminal court with petty thieves, petty crime. I remember standing in the court and the judge called out my name and i was i was not present because i was being nervous i was worried about i was worried about my reputation i was worried about people seeing me i was just in the financial times and the guardian and i was in all this press and here am i in, in court and i was embarrassed there was i have suffered so much private pain that i can't begin to tell you guys i've been broken i've gone through so much breaking for the last seven years that if I were to tell you guys half of them, you would never believe me. You would never believe. I shared a picture last week, I think, about the DNA testing. And I can't go into that right now, but one day I will. And the things I have to endure. And I've been broken so many times. And in my own breaking, I realized that some of us are built for breaking. And as I stood in that courtroom and I heard my name and I reflected, I was looking around the courtroom thinking, does anybody here know me? Because I don't want anybody to know me because my name is in the press, in the paper for good things. And here am I standing in the court where I remember one guy had broken into somebody's house and stole their television and stole some jewelry. And I was being tried in the same court as him. And I was like, my God, I have, I have spent so much, I've spent over 32,000 pounds on legal fees. I sold my Jamaica house um, that my ex-husband and I had to pay for nursery fees for my son. I have been broken so many times. And through all of that, I learned that some of us are built for that stuff. Some of us are given some mantles, I call them, some Whew, some of us have given some journeys and some pathways that sometimes we can't even understand it. Sometimes we don't even understand it. Sometimes we don't even understand our journey. You know, I said to a friend yesterday who's been broken right now, she's going through similar something that I went through and she's, she's also married to a Nigerian and she went through the whole, she's going through the same process I went through. Um, and I don't say that in any way, I'm just giving you context purely because I know that there are different friends who are going through similar situations and I don't want people to misunderstand that I'm talking about them on Facebook. And she rang me and I said to her, honey, let me say something to you. I, I, I want to teach you one thing. I said to her, one of the things I developed on my journey, which has served me till today, is that I used to say, God, I, I don't understand it, but I trust you. And when you're being broken, if you can, when you're in the breaking period, when you're in the breaking, hallelujah, when you're in the breaking period, if you can just acknowledge that God sees beyond the immediate situation and that he has a plan for your life that you can't really see right now. I have some testimonies to share that I don't want to share because I want to keep certain things private right now. But when I look at how he brought me to build me, I was like, wow, wow. And I was sharing with my friends, two of my good friends yesterday, just some things that are happening to me behind the scenes that I don't want to talk about right now because I realized that there are some people on my Facebook who are under different names. Mm -hmm. Some people are following me on social media under different names. Mm -hmm. I see you. My team has found you. Let me just let you understand. We had to block and delete. I had to block some people on LinkedIn the other day. I had to block some people on Twitter. People are following me fictitiously. People who try to break me are following me now. They tried to break me. And in their breaking, they were building. Let me tell you something. All the people who have deceived you, 
they broke you, but that's okay. All the people that let you down, that's okay. All the people that took your money and didn't pay you. There's a girl right now who owes me eight grand who took my money and did not pay me. I took her to court and I won and she didn't pay me. And I'm telling you, that girl had really, really done some stuff to me. But I'm standing tall today. Because when you thought you were breaking me, you were building me. So here, 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 my, here, my, here, my thing for you guys today. For those of you out there who are running away from being broken, you better hurry up and get broken. Hurry up. Because the quicker you break, the quicker you get built. The quicker you break, the quicker you get resiliency. The quicker you break, the quicker you succeed. The quicker you break, the stronger you come. You better stand up and say, God, please break me, break me, break me. Every situation that comes my way nowadays to break me, I open my hands and I receive because it's building me. It is building me. And I've been so, a friend of mine about 20 minutes ago said to me, girl, I said to her, <laughs> I said to her one day, they're going to have to test me to see if I'm normal. And she said to me, what is normal? The things I've been through today for the first time I shared with you guys that I got arrested and I was in court with petty criminals being tried for something I didn't do. I've never shared that on Facebook. I've, I've, it's been a private pain I've carried. I mean, I don't carry it anymore, but for years I had to deal with that privately. I have never shared it publicly. I dealt with that pain when somebody you love and you've had a relationship with can bring you to that place. You've been broken. You are being broken when people you trust defy your trust and literally deceive you. When people you write exams for, I have had friends who I wrote their exam for their master's degree. Uh -huh, I'm confessing now. And they lied on me. They schemed behind my back. They planned to, for my demise. People that I paid for their degree lend them the money to pay for their subjects when they couldn't pay. Let me tell you something. You don't know about breaking. Let me welcome to my, my breaking session. And in that breaking, I'm still standing today. So I'm going to encourage you. Don't be afraid to be broken. Don't be afraid to be bruised. Do not be afraid to experience challenges. Because there's a God, my anchor. I keep telling you guys, my anchor, my anchor, my anchor, my anchor, my anchor is God. If it wasn't for God, I would not be here. I'd have taken cocaine already. I would have cut myself up out of self-harm already. I would have jumped off a bridge already. Let me tell you something. Do you guys know that? I'm going to share this again because there's something I'm this Facebook live is the most vulnerable Facebook live I've ever done in the how many years I'm on Facebook. I've never done this. I've had moments in my breaking when I thought of driving my car into a post. I was like, I don't want to live anymore. I can't do this anymore. I'm telling you. I was in my Jeep one day going to work and I thought about just driving it off the road. There was too much happening. I was just confused. I was tired. I was broken. I was beaten. I was bruised. I was alone. I was frustrated. I was broke financially, no money. And I'm driving my car with no fuel in the Jeep. Three liter engine, no fuel in the UK. In the UK. Right? And I remember thinking about my kids. Oh, God, I can't do this. I can't do this. I've got children. And when I think about the social service system and the, the experience I had knowing some of the social workers I work with, and, and I was like, I can't put my kids through that. That was been breaking. That was at my broken, blunt point. I've been too broken. Never share these things on Facebook. I've never shared them. Never share them. So I don't know what your breaking is right now. I don't know what you're going through. But I want to say to you that when you know where your confidence is anchored, when you know where your faith is anchored, when you know where you're secured, 
your confidence, your faith will never run out. Allow yourself to be broken because in the brokenness, you learn where to rely. Mm. In the brokenness, you learn where to rely. I'm not going to say anything more other than this. Remember, it's in your breaking, hallelujah, it's in your breaking that you get a strong rooted anchor. It's in your breaking that you get built up. It's in the breaking that you can root yourself properly. It's in the breaking that the coconut can be made into beautiful products. It's in the breaking, hallelujah, it's in the breaking. It's in the breaking that that oil can go on your head. It's in the breaking that you find your anchor. Allow yourself to be broken. Because resisting the brokenness, resisting being broken sometimes is, is delaying your life, is delaying your breakthrough, is delaying what God has for your life. This came out of, I fell on the 2nd of February and I've been in agony ever since. My bottom hurts, my bum cheek hurts, my spine hurts, my tailbone hurts. And I went to see the osteopath this morning and I'm in so much pain. And as he broke, he, I just kept hearing crunk, crunk, crunk. And he said, you have spinal obstruction. You have damaged yourself. He said, you've really damaged yourself. And as I, as I came back, and my son was like, mommy, he's hurting you. And as I came back and as I was driving home, I realized that he has to break some of those things. I don't mean physical. He has to crack some things and shift some things in order to build me. And it came to me. Some of us are built for broken. I hope that this helped you. I hope that you understand that building here and breaking here, I just use figuratively, but that could mean that you have to go through some stuff to get to where you want to go to. Um, breaking mean that you might have to walk away from a relationship in order to, to, to become the best version. Breaking here means you might have to let go some friends uh, to be able to live a peaceful life. Breaking here might mean that you're going to have to sit in silence and exercise. Whatever the breaking is, understand that the building is the what is going to be better for you and if we want what's best for us sometimes we're going to have to go through some potholes and some roadblocks so dr ava eagle brown as always if i can help to serve or support you i am so happy to do so let me know um we're all going through a breaking phase right now with pandemic but we are being built where we, we're getting resiliency. We are leaning more in our faith. We're closer to our friends. We're seeing who's not our friends. We're chiseling those who really matter in our lives. Whatever it is that we've gotten out of COVID, don't forget to be built. Have a great day. God bless you. Love you guys. Always. Thank you guys for concern about my back. I'm in therapy now. I've got two sessions per week and I'm going to see how I go. But um, I'll speak to you guys later. Tag a friend. There might be somebody who needs to hear this message. Uh, share it on your page. There might be somebody who needs to hear it. I, I try to be as vulnerable as I can. Sometimes I'm not because there are legal ramifications. But there's some stuff I will share one day. Um, just keep following. God bless you. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. And follow me on LinkedIn. Make sure that you check out The Mango Girl, which is my brand. And God bless you. And I see you guys on the other side. Bye for now.